Hi, I'm Tim Holmes, and I write children's books. We're going to start a story together. Today, we're at Metcalf Public School in their library with Mrs. Stanley and her class. Are you ready to start a story? Yeah! You guys ready to start a story? Yeah! All right, the way we do this is that I will show you three story starters. And they're pictures with a little sentence underneath. And those will be how we choose where we begin our story. So the very first one I will show you is this one. A little camping trip. But there is something very strange on this camping trip. It's a triceratops coming out of an egg. This was going to be the best camping trip ever. Uh, or was it? Hmm, that's our first choice. Or we could begin this story. They wanted a pet, so they decided to build one. Got a little brother and sister or friends there. And then... Our third and last choice to start a story, holding a very, very large pencil crayon, the apple rolled off the page and onto the floor. The next thing he drew is what started the trouble. So you guys have a very big decision to make today. What are we going to do? What story will we start today? So. Let's see, with a show of hands, which one would you guys like to do? Would you like to do the Triceratops camping? Oh, everybody seems to love that. Or would we like to do the magical drawing pencil? Oh, just a couple. And they wanted a pet, so they decided to build one. Ah, so very clearly, we're going to do this was going to be the best camping trip ever, or was it? So we're going to do the dino camping. So we're going to say that, uh, well, there's three people in the picture, right? So three people. Who are those three people? Whose three names are those? Well, let's name our three people that have gone camping. Yes, Nina. Hmm. George, George. Fred. Yeah. And Bob. George, Fred, and Bob. <laughs> do we like that? Yeah! All right, let's do that. So George, Fred, oh, you know what? And Bob. Bob. But you know what? George, Fred, and Bob, those are three boys. Maybe there's a girl gone camping, too. No. Their mom. <laughs> Their mom? Georgia! Georgia? That's actually not a bad idea. Do, what do you guys think about that? Do you want to go to Georgia? Yeah. All right. Georgia, Fred, and we said Bob? Yeah. All right, <laughs> Bob. Now, they are camping, and they've obviously discovered a, tri a baby triceratops, and they found that egg. Where did they find the egg on the camping trip? In the field. In a field? That's a good idea. How about you? In a tree. Could be in a tree. Yes, Tyler. Behind a tent? Yeah, maybe they found it by when they were pitching their tent. That's true. Simon. Maybe it was in like under a tree. Maybe the egg was under a tree in the tunnel. Oh, in a, oh, like a little secret tunnel? Yeah. Oh, neato. So who wants to find the egg in a tree? Who wants to find the egg behind the tent? Who wants to find the egg in a secret tunnel under a tree? I think we're going secret tunnel. So they discover a egg. They discover the egg, egg in a tunnel under a tree. Well, now, that is a wonderful beginning of our story. What we're going to do is something that is very wacky. We're going to now pick how our story is going to end. We're going to skip the whole middle. And the reason we're going to do that is because we want to know where we're starting, 
And we know that. Georgia, Fred, and Bob are going to discover that baby dinosaur egg in a tunnel under a tree. That's our very beginning. How is the story going to end? What do you guys think? What would you do if you found a baby triceratops? Right. Kenny. Um, the, um, um, they found out that the mom side talked to looking for the egg and found, finally found the baby. They, yeah, they, maybe the mommy is looking for it. That's right. Aubrey. Um, the dinosaur wrecks their camping trip. Oh, he wrecks their camping trip. How does he wreck it? By his horns. Oh, his horns. Maybe, they, maybe it tears into the tent and stuff like that. He causes a little bit of trouble. So the end of our story is going to be the dinosaur is going to cause some trouble and wreck the camping trip. Um, or the, uh, we find the mom, yeah, the mommy uh, triceratop finally finds her baby. I like those choices. So who wants to see the baby triceratops have a lot of trouble and kind of wreck the camping trip? All right. And who wants to see the mommy triceratops find the baby? You know what? We've got an even, I think we got almost an even split. Guys, what if both things happened at the end? What if the camping trip was a bit of a disaster, lots of troubling, you know, difficult things. The tent got ripped. Maybe the dinosaur was really hungry and ate all their food. Lots of different little things could happen. But what if, at the end, the mommy dinosaur finally finds her baby after the camping trip and the camping trip is rescued? Uh -huh. We want to do both? Yeah! Are you going to do Yeah! yeah. All right. Baby Triceratops is going to do a little, get, get in a lot of trouble, right? He's going to ruin... Uh, the, the camping trip a little bit, right? And then the mommy triceratops, the mommy dino, is going to, uh, is going to rescue her baby. Yeah. There we go. And now we're going to the middle. That's a lovely, lovely ending. Now, we have chosen our beginning so we know that we're having Georgia, Fred, and Bob go on a camping trip where they discover a baby dinosaur egg. And the baby triceratop comes out and it causes all sorts of trouble and kind of ruins the camping trip a little bit. But the happy thing is that the mommy triceratops finally finds her baby and we know that our baby triceratops is gonna be safe. That's lovely. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a break from making decisions and we're going to head over uh, when, we, uh, when we point you in that direction, we're going to head you over to our art tables. We're going to have what we call the art part. Your brain thinks a little differently when it's drawing than when we're making choices and discussing it. And so it's a really important part of the storytelling process. So what I need you to do is grab your crayons, your markers, and some paper, and I need you to draw the beginning or the end. It's your choice. I can't wait to see what you come up with. When we come back, we're going to write the middle of our story. All right, guys. Well, we've done a lot of great drawing and we've come up with some really neat ideas from those pictures. But let's go and remind ourselves what we're doing. We have got Georgia, Fred, and Bob on a camping trip and they discover a dino egg with a baby triceratops inside it in a tunnel under a tree. And that's how we begin our story. We're gonna end our story with the triceratops causing a lot of trouble for our campers. But finally, the mommy dinosaur comes and rescues her little baby. Our job now is we need to build the middle of our story. So, the first question I need to ask you is, how did our campers, how did Georgia and her friends discover the tunnel? Nina. They were gathering sticks for marshmallow roasting. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. Marshmallow roasting. Meh. Um, they were going for a hike. They were going for a hike, because that's a really great idea when you're on a camping trip. Kenny. Um, they went for they went to the lake for a swim. Oh, that's a neat idea too, yeah. So here's our votes. Are we gonna say they found it while going for a swim? Are we gonna say they found it while going for a hike? 
Are we going to say they found it while trying to collect wood for their fire and marshmallow roasting? Oh, it's a lovely idea. All right. So they, start, they went looking for wood. They're looking for wood. For sticks. Because he was sticks. And sticks. Because he said For uh, roasting. Marshmallows. Marshmallows. I don't know. I don't know. Marshmallows. And, uh, and their fire. Okay. So. They are looking for that wood, and they stumble upon the hole. Now, how do they see the actual hole? And Simon. They, one of them falls in, and they find and, uh, like a little bit of a tunnel. Oh, the hole is big enough that they fall in? That's a cool idea. And uh, Jason. They hear a crack of an egg. So are they going to see the hole with pink and blue sparkles, and that's what attracts them to see the hole? Let's say pink and blue sparkles. Your hands up if you want that. Or are they going to accidentally fall in the hole? That. Or they heard the cracking noises. That's right. Oh, we're going for noises. All right. So they hear the mysterious noises in the hole. So who is the bravest of Georgia, Fred, and Bob? Show of hands, who wants Georgia to be the brave one? Who wants Fred to be the brave one? And who wants Bob to be the brave one? It's Bob. Bob is the brave one. Bob the Brave. That's a wonderful nickname for Bob. Bob the Brave. Bob the Brave. I'm Bob. Bob the Brave. So what does he see when he gets in there, right? Uh, May, what do you think? I think there's going to be like um, nets and you have to like jump over the wood or something. And jump over the wood? Simon? Maybe there's like a, they do the hole there. Yeah. They can see the egg, but they can't get to it. Mm. Kenny? Um, they have to jump onto wood and it gets higher, higher and higher and higher. Then they have to go down, 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 higher okay. and higher. Okay. Down, down, down. So there's a whole bunch, we, there's a whole bunch of wood. And I think the wood that's under a tunnel would probably be the roots of the tree. Are you guys okay with them having to jump over all sorts of roots of the tree? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? All right. So we're going to have to jump over roots of the tree. Root jumping. And then what else can we do? Maybe... Um, I saw, I think it was Simon that was drawing the tunnels underneath. They looked like there were some very steep hills. Maybe they've got to go up and down those steep, steep hills. Like a, almost like a roller coaster. Sled. Oh, with a sled. Yeah. Maybe they all find dirt a dirt slide. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys like a dirt slide? Yeah. All right. Let's do the dirt slide. And then we need a third thing. What are we going to do for our third challenge until they find the egg? Yeah. They're going to fall into a waterfall because it's, it's, it's going yeah. like this and then there's a waterfall. Yeah, what do you think? Okay, so are they going to have to swim across a river or are they going to uh, have to go down a waterfall? Swim so, river. river, hands up. Yeah. Or waterfall. Oh, waterfall. All right. So those are, so they're finally going to find the egg, all right? They're finally finding the egg. And they have to. Uh, they, they rescue the Triceratops, right? And they bring the Triceratops up to their camping. Remember, our story is the Triceratops is going to cause some trouble at the campsite. So what trouble is the Triceratops going to cause? Chloe. He's going to eat all the food and rip all the tent. Eat all the food. I like eat all the food. We're going to put that here. Eat all the food. And is he, is the Triceratops, Nina, what else is it going to do? And aliens going to come. Aliens are going to come. And then the mom comes and rescues the guys. I really like that idea. I'm going to, I'm going to save that idea. I promise you on that one, because that's, I, I think there's a really cool way we can do something with that. Um, what else is it going to do? It's going to destroy the vehicle they, they used to get there. Oh, maybe pop their tires with its horns. They get stuck there. All right. All right. It's going to pop. That's a really good choice. Pop the car tires. And um, we were going to have it uh, We were going to have it tear up the tent too, right? Were we going to have it tear into the tent? By, no, I don't think it's doing it on purpose. It's just a baby, right? It doesn't really know what it's doing. It thinks it's toys. It thinks it's toys. That's right. All righty. 
So, so we have a lot of different things in our middle. We have looking for wood for roasting marshmallows. We have hearing the noises in the tunnel. We have jumping over roots in a dirt slide in a waterfall. And we have all the trouble the dino's causing, eating all the food, popping car tires, and tearing up a tent. And now it's time for art part again. Yeah! It's time for our second art part. This is where you get to choose your favorite part of the middle of our story, and you can draw it with your crayons or your markers. So get to work. I can't wait to see what you come up with. When we come back, you're gonna to get to hear the story that we created together. So, we have just done some more fantastic art. You guys have been wonderful today, but you guys have one more job to do to finish our story. We have to pick a title for our story. So, what would you guys like to call your story? <laughs> Aubrey. The Discovery of the Dinosaur. Discovery of the Dinosaur. Kiana. Creepy Camping Trip. Creepy camping trip. That's kind of cool too. Austin. Um, the wacky dinosaur camping trip. The wacky dinosaur camping trip. And Serena. Serena. Um, no. the best and worst camping trip ever. Cool. All right. So what have I heard? I've heard dinosaur discovery, uh, crazy camping trip, and the worst and best camping trip ever. So who wants to go with dinosaur discovery? Who wants to go with crazy camping trip? And who wants to go with the worst and best camping trip ever? It is now officially called the worst and best camping trip ever. Look at this. We made choices together. We worked together. We've got a beginning, a middle, and an end, and we have the worst and best camping trip ever. You guys, congratulations. You guys have started a story. Way to go, guys. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> now, very importantly, would you guys like to hear your story? Yeah! All right. The worst and best camping trip ever by Mrs. Stanley's class. Georgia, Fred, and Bob were three best friends. And every summer, they loved to go camping. And they would drive out in Fred's Jeep. And they loved the wind blowing in their hair. They loved the adventure. And they set up their tent in a wonderfully open field where they could see trees just across the field. And after they had their tent set up and all their bags unpacked, they decided that they would go looking for wood. They needed to find sticks for their fire. They needed to find sticks for roasting marshmallows. They loved roasting marshmallows when the sun went down. It was their favorite treat. They'd have roasted marshmallows for dinner, and then they would have hamburgers for dessert. Now, while they were out looking for wood, they decided to cross that field and go towards the line of trees because you're going to find little sticks in the woods in the tree line. And while they were doing that, they kept hearing a funny noise. They kept hearing crackle, crackle. Brrr. They're like, what could that be? They crackle, crackle, Urgh. What could that be, they said. And they kept picking up their sticks. And all of a sudden, that sound was very, very close to them. Crackle, crackle, Urgh. And they didn't know what it was. Now, Georgia had the best sight of everybody, and she spotted, she spotted a hole at the bottom of a tree and they realized the sounds were coming from that hole. Crackle, crackle, Urgh. What could it be, they thought. Let's get out of here, said Fred. And Georgia, Georgia was ready to leave too, but Bob, brave Bob, said, Nuh-uh, I'm gonna discover what that is. And he jumped right down the hole. Georgia and Fred said, Are you okay, Bob, Bob, Bob? And Bob said, 
I'm all right, I'm all right. Come on, down, down, down. Crackle, crackle, Urgh. they heard again. Are you sure, sure, sure? I'm sure, said Bob. And George and Fred jumped down the hole. And they joined Bob at the beginning. And they heard the sound again. Crackle, crackle, Urgh. What could it be, they thought. So they decided to carefully walk in the dark tunnel. And all of a sudden, they could see that they were on the edge of a muddy cliff. And they heard the sound again, crackle, crackle, Urgh. And they looked over the edge, and Fred looked a little too far, and he lost his balance, and he tried to catch himself. He grabbed Georgia, he grabbed Bob, and they all went sliding down a mudslide. And they got to the bottom, and they realized they were all sticky and gooey and covered in mud, but they were safe. Wow, how are we ever going to get back up, said Georgia. I don't know, said Bob. So they decided to keep looking since they couldn't go back up the mudslide. They wanted to go a little further to try and find out what this sound was. And in front of them, they found a whole bunch of tree roots all tangled and twirled together. Are we really going to go through that? Of course we are, said Bob the Brave. And so he led the way and they got their legs and arms all twisted, and a couple of times they got their clothes caught on branches and they had to snag themselves free, but they made it through the maze of roots. And they could hear a running sound of running water, and they got running water? Is that a river down here, perhaps? And then they heard it again, crackle, crackle, Urgh. Okay, what is that sound already? So they marched, marched forward a little further, a little further, and they saw a river that they could not cross. And so they decided to swim as hard as they could. But as they began swimming, swimming and swimming, they realized they got caught up in the flow of the water. The current was pulling them towards, oh no, a waterfall. And as they went over the edge, they screamed, no! And as they were falling, they had to look out for the rocks that were sticking out from the waterfall. And down they went, and thankfully, they all made a big splash, and they were safe at the bottom. And then they heard it, the closest it had ever been, crackle, crackle, grrr. And right there, on the edge of the water, was an egg, a really big egg. It took all three of them, all their strength, to pick up that egg. They said, what is this egg? Crackle, crackle. <gasps> the egg wiggled and they dropped it and it cracked open. And inside they saw a baby triceratops. Wow, said Fred, who loved dinosaurs. That's amazing. So then they thought, well, we can't leave this baby Triceratops all by itself in this dark, dark cave. We've got to bring it back to our camp to keep it safe. But how are we going to get out of here, said Georgia. And they looked around for a way out, and they couldn't see one. But as it turns out, the baby Triceratops, it had a plan. Maybe it wasn't a plan, but it's what the baby Triceratops did. It started to run and it started to dig into the earthy wall with its horns and it dug and it dug and it made a tunnel and it tunneled itself all the way out back to the field. And when they came out, they were all standing in the field and they were very happy. But that Triceratops, it loved to run. So it ran and ran and ran right towards the camping site because it smelt the food they had at the camping site and went right into their bags and gobble, 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 ate all their food. And then it started to run around again because it was so excited to be full of delicious snacks and food. And it accidentally, bonk, rammed into their Jeep, psh, popped a tire, psh, oh no. And Bob and Fred and Georgia all cried out, Oh no, what are we gonna do? And that scared the baby Triceratops with their voices so loud. So the baby Triceratops ran in the other direction, right towards their tent. Oh no, it ran right through their tent and it got caught up and the tent was all around it and it was making all sorts of squawking noises trying to get out. And it cut a hole in the tent with its horns to get out. 
and it ran into the field. And then, out of nowhere, just when they thought their camping trip couldn't get any stranger or get any worse, they heard whir, 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 and they thought, what is that? And they looked up, and there was a spaceship above them, and inside the spaceship was a mommy triceratops driving the spaceship. And the mommy triceratops hovered above her baby and caught her baby in a tractor beam and sucked up the triceratops into the spaceship and they flew away to be safe. And that is when Georgia, Fred, and Bob discovered the real way that the dinosaurs left planet Earth. The end. Did you guys like that story? Yeah! Awesome. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Would you have made different choices? Or maybe you just wanted to add more detail to the story that we created. Well, that's awesome. So get writing, get drawing, and then send it to us. I can't wait to see what you've come up with. See you soon.